What's going on, y'all? This is Tony MC here. I'm rocking with Jay Burner, my Yo. dog. Y'all already oh, know. My brother, man. How good you doing, you, man? man? Everything good? Well, How about yourself? Hey, man. Can't complain, yo. We just trying to survive out here. Yeah. Obviously, sure. it's been a tough year. Uh, 2020 has been crazy for everybody. Uh, but how did you survive? Like, how did you, you know, how did you deal with the pandemic and how has it affected your life, your career? Um, man, at first it was so confusing, uh, to be honest. It was just like, what do I do? Like, everything that I need to do is outside with people. We can't go on the road, yep. can't do no shows. And then we started, like, just going to L.A., but just, like, with the, strict with the tests, less people in the sessions, and just, like, just, like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta work. Like, yeah, of course. If I wait till everything you know, opens down. back up, then I'll yeah. be behind the eight ball. So. Hell yeah, and especially with all the other artists that have just been coming out with crazy work during this time. Right. And obviously you've been busy. Right. You know, you've been in the studio, um, so... Uh, obviously, you got a couple records that just dropped not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So, Game Time. Um, you know, how did that record come about? Only because I know that, you know, obviously it's, it's South Florida, the city's mm -hmm. small. So, um, was that something that maybe, like, y'all had crossed paths and maybe discussed? Like, how did that record come about? Well, she's always been, like, like supportive of me. Like, of course, she, yeah. I've always had a great relationship with her, but we never had any music. So, um, Ted Lucas, who owns Silver Slide, um, presented me with the opportunity to write on the Trick and Train album. Dope. So, like, that was one of the records that I had, you know, I had wrote for the their project, and, you know, they decided not to put out a project, and the record was just sitting around, and they were just like, yo, Trina wants to put the record out, but she wants to do it with someone else, so I was just like, alright, cool. I put my verse on the center back, and she liked it, and we just like we were talking about like you know videos and stuff like that right she was all for it so like i'm just you know grateful that you know she she didn't really have to you know take her time to do that for me so video looked really dope thank you um what was the the inspiration behind that obviously you got a basketball theme going and stuff mm -hmm. like that but um what was it more like the creative direction inspiration behind that well it was like subconsciously honestly like to let people know that it's time like at the end of the day like when you get, I wanted like I pictured myself in somebody's locker room getting ready for a game. Right. Like I'm about to go hard. Like I'm about to change up this whole script. This is my anthem for me to get ready. It's game time. It's time. Like I've been playing enough with you guys. Like so, it's game time. Right. We, we're here. So that's what I how when I was writing it, how I pictured it, and how I felt. And you know, it, it was a perfect intro to what's going on. And obviously, from there, you know, you just kept you kept working, you kept grinding, and then. Um, you got the other record uh, that we were talking about with Jamaica, mm -hmm. Fetty Wap. Uh, how did that come together? There's actually another writing session, ironically. Damn, okay. So I was, yeah, I was writing a record for Sky, who's on the chorus. Right. And same thing with Sky. Sky loved the record, but it was just sitting around. And I'm like with, sitting with this song, and I'm like, damn, what should I do with this record? Should I just shop it elsewhere? And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just keep it and see what happens. So then Fetty heard some music from me, actually, from peers of mine that were just playing my music around. He was like, nice. I didn't know who it was. Shout and out to them. Yeah, right? <laughs> he was just like, yo, tell them send me something. Right. I was just like, if I'm going to do a record with Fetty, I might as well swing for the fences. And I got this big record that just sitting on my hard drive. I'm going to send it. He sent the verse back. With, like, actually, he sent the video from recording it first. And I was like hype off of that. And right. then he sent the actual verse back and was just like, after that, we were just like, yeah, we're going to put this out. Let's <laughs> get this ready. Let's get this video. Right. So it, it's just, it was like, it was just a, a blessed moment that just, it was something like, you know, we put in the universe and it just came to fruition. That's what's up, man. Talk about the video. I know y'all got together for that. Mm -hmm. um, y'all, I, I feel like y'all shot it here. You know what I mean? It's Jamaica, yeah. but I know y'all got the island vibe we're, from around here. So definitely was um shot here with like there was no way like at exactly. the time when we were it's, shooting. Trust me, day, I know how you're doing. There was, <laughs> yeah, there was no way. So we we tried our best to get it as close as possible. We shot half the video in Jersey, half the video in Miami. Dope. Yeah, and we just you know figured out how to make sure we we got the best collab and looked like made it look as 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 cohesive as possible. So right. With you know with what we we really wanted to do. Obviously, was shoot it in Jamaica. Yeah, but 
we had to make do what we needed. What we That's what we all trying to do right now. Right. <laughs> Maneuvering through the madness. Exactly. Um, so you got these two strong records right now. So um, obviously they, they came out as singles, but are they going to live somewhere else? Like, is there going to be another project coming up? Yeah, there's up? definitely a project. I'm all actually right. working on my project. Um, I'm like... Can you share the title? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. It's called right. Different. Different? Different. Right. Different. Different. I actually have... A, it's be, I have... I'm working on two records. I'll give you both titles. There's a rec there's a project called Different and there's another project called Bigger Than Life. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um Different comes out first and then Bigger Than Life. Crown, you the life for the party. You the time with the body is a heat do. Push niggas, yeah, I know you heat do. They ain't smoking like a big stool. You an angel with the mangoes. You don't need a cup, you need a whole bottle. Girls look at you like you a role model. With different coming first, like is that gonna be more or less of the music that you've been working on like for the past year or so? Um, yeah, it's just it's pretty much just like it's letting the world know this is a different space of life. Like I've been grinding my ass off for a long time. So. More than a decade. Right, yeah, I've been in it for a minute. So it's like this is different. I know people like we're so like people loved when I used to just rap, 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 but like I've just, I'm not even just, I've become like this full, well, you know, surface artist, and it's just like, it's different now. Like it's different. Like everything is different. Like my lifestyle, my way of thinking, my process, the way wow. I create, everything is different. I've lost people, I've gained people, so everything is different. So I just need to put this moment in a time capsule and put it out as a project. So would you say that you're kind of like switching up your flow a little bit like sound is maybe different like it's basically you're saying like everything is different Yeah, I everything is different like yeah. literally everything is different like I wouldn't say like I've always been a well-versed artist I would just yeah. like like just being subconscious as an artist like I don't know if they're gonna accept me for this type of stuff This is exactly. what I, you know and now it's just like oh I'm unapologetic as hell. I don't care like exactly shit is different like so I, I enjoy being different than the norm. So exactly, I'm just man. gonna I mean embrace it and let the world, you know, take it for what it is. That's what's up. So you got two big collaborations under your belt uh, within the past year. Uh, who else are you trying to work with? Man, I want to work with like a Summer Walker, Janae Aiko, me and Ti got something bubbling. Oh, okay. Yeah, Talk so. about that, yo. Man, um, like a lot of people don't know, like a lot of my mannerisms and. My my rap etiquette came from studying Ti. Nope. So like it was just one day out the blue, like I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just hit him up. Word. Yeah. And I, just, <laughs> I just hit him up and I hit him up. I was just like, I, I told him I was like, I'm just shooting in the dark. I don't even know if you're gonna, you know, yeah. hit me back. And he was just like. Send me the music. Like I was like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Dope, man. So yeah. Asking like, you shall receive, man. <laughs> right. Like literally I th I thought about I was trying to manifest this moment, assuming like it would happen, you know, through people, but it right. would like the best way was actually reaching out yourself. Correct. Yeah. So um he was just like, Yo, send me the music. I sent him the music and instead he didn't hit me back on, on, on Instagram. He emailed me, he's like, yo, both these records are fired. And then from there, yeah. yeah, we then we met up in um we met up at one of his shows in Orlando. I think it was Orlando. Okay. Hung out, dinner, just kicked it, actually found out how much we were like as people. And then from there, like we have just been building since. I can see you popping up at a lot of the virtual shows. Shout out mm -hmm. to Empress Raw, she had that uh, pandemic palooza. Yeah, that was a dope that was a dope vibe. How do you how do you see yourself performing in that kind of like setting? You know what I mean, going forward. Obviously we're in a different time right now. And that's kinda like the most like accepted way of like, you know, performing and stuff like that. Like how has that affected you? Like, is that something that you've kind of acclimated to or you're still getting used to or I've just got acclimated to it to be yeah. honest, right? So like I got offered by like a couple maybe like three or four different virtual platforms right. to be like yo we think you should do so and so you know do your own concert and we have like a subscription base so we'll do it like this or we'll pay you this much or so and so and i was just like eh, i don't know if i want to do that right now right right so then like i would just like i keep the relationships and then of course they reached out and they were just like yo we're doing this so and so and I was just like, you know what? Let me at least try it out first before exactly. I do like when it's because right. it's like this is like something more like what, what was 
you know, presented to me at first was like a lot more in detail. It was like, you know what, let me try this, see how I like it. And I was just like, damn, this is a pretty dope process. Works right? out, so, right? Yeah. That's so I'll be doing a lot more virtual shows. Dope, man. Can you see yourself on uh, Rolling Loud stage? I know they do a lot of virtual shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, like, we, I, we actually had like a slight conversation. And they were asking me what was going on with everything, like giving you know, giving me my flowers and stuff right. like that. So we'll definitely get something in. So Rosa Lodge oh, definitely, um, we'll definitely get something. You know, obviously you got Black Converse Music Group. Mm -hmm. Um, where where is that going? Like, you know, where's where do you see the group going in like you know five years or so? Five. It's gonna be like a definitely like it. Black Congress Music Group is going to be like a, a strong label. Like I'm going to be signing artists in the next few months, Dope. type of thing. Like so, like I've been watching artists. I actually been grooming some artists as well. So Black Congress Music Group is going to be a very strong label. It's the house for my music. Like I own my publishing. Like my, I'm my own admin. So I'm definitely just gonna do the stuff that I've been doing for myself or like some other artists as well. And then you know just create a strong powerhouse for like other artists as well. So we're gonna man. charting artists, artists on the radio, artists on TV, artists on tours. Right. Think it's gonna be a, a beautiful hub five years from now. You know, obviously during this time, you know, there's a lot of like anxiety, there's a lot of stress going on with like, you know, the pandemic. Um, how do you, do you ever get like, you know, writer's block um, when it comes to your, your creative process? And, and if you do, like, how do you, how do you get over it? Like, how do you combat it? I've been blessed. like. So I like I just did an interview where they were asking me about writer's block. It was like you know it's like a like a, a publishing company that does like interviews, and I was just like um, I don't really get writer's block because my writing process is a bit different mm -hmm. compared to someone that just has to sit there and write or type on right. their phone. I don't really do that. I go like I do melody first, and then you know I come up with the words, and then we create a song from there. So like I've been blessed like lately. You know I haven't had writer's block so I'm like I'm just it's just so much shit that I've been through that I can't really like not talk about it so like I've been blessed to not be in the space of having writer's block so. let's say like you had to offer some kind of advice like what would be like maybe like some kind of um, piece of advice that you would give someone that is combating writer's block and you know what would you say to them dig dig deep and don't be afraid to write about like the traumatic stuff. Don't be afraid to write about the stuff that got you there. Like, 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 write about the pain. Like, the pain mm -hmm. never, like, the pain disappears, but it's always sitting there. Like, you know, create memories. Write your memories. Like, those things, like, real life doesn't ever get old. It, it, it's timeless. It, does, it has playback value. So, dig there, and then, you know, find your inspiration. So that would be my advice for like for people that go through, you know, write about the pain. So, man. As far as uh, you know, we've got Super Bowl coming up. Who was your team, man? Man, since my Pats are <laughs> in the, um, I'm definitely, I'm rooting for Tom Brady because this is like, it's something special. You know, it's right. like he went to Tampa. Tampa's hosting the Super Bowl. He's it's about a Florida to get thing, another, you know? It's a Florida thing, of course. <laughs> He's about to get another ring. He brought AB with him. Like, the whole... Like, this could be, like, the most perfect Cinderella story <laughs> <laughs> ever. Maybe not ever, but this is definitely a Cinderella story. And I, I love to see, like, people that, like, have dominated their, their space of life and keep dominating. So, I love to see shit like that. So, I want to see Tom Brady win. Good shit. All right. Uh, is there anything you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Oh, man, just stay in tune. Things, Things are going to keep getting bigger than life. <laughs> Stuff is different, ironically. Yeah. Uh, stream Game Time featuring Trina. Stream Jamaica featuring Freddie Wap. I got a record called Life for the Party about to drop in the next month or so. 
go ahead and you know tap in with your boy project is dropping in in march as well and tune into your boy jay burner i'm here i'm not going nowhere and the elevation is real straight up man look out for different coming soon you already know man it's your boy tony mc signing out Bala, bala, what they call us I got all this water, water On my collar Throwing all these dollars, dollars They gon' holler Jumping on these yachts models So good, lost.